What up everyone, this is Moritz from Walkify.com and today I want to share a little story with you. So I go to the gym three times a week, Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Every time I go there I work out for about 45 minutes to an hour. I don't like the really long workouts, I don't like to spend like two or three hours there. I just want to get a quick workout done after I leave the office. So I go there, I train and then um, I usually shower there. So once I stand under the hot pouring water, something weird happens. I start to have really good and unique thoughts. And for the longest time I couldn't figure out why that what was happening every time I stepped under the shower. It wasn't happening uh, on the way to work in the subway, it wasn't happening during, I, during having lunch with colleagues, um, it wasn't happening right before I went to bed, it always just happened under the shower in the gym. So I would step under the hot water and suddenly I would be like, oh, maybe I should write a blog post about this or maybe I should make a video blog about that maybe I should take my business into this kind of direction there's always these unique thoughts suddenly popping up kind of bursting to the surface um, and it always felt like I've had them inside of me for a while but it was always under the shower that they start emerging so for the longest time I couldn't really figure out why that was, but I wanted to. I felt like this is a valuable thing that happens to me. Um, usually I would step out of the shower and immediately write down the thoughts that I had and it would happen exactly every time after uh, showering. So it was the weirdest thing and I wanted to figure out how I can get these kind of thoughts more consistently. I mean if I would be able to uh, recreate this kind of environment, whatever it was, that created these kind of thoughts within me, I could get these kind of unique ideas basically anywhere and at any time. So I wanted to figure out what it was. And I spent quite a lot of time thinking about this, but I think it really comes down to this one important thing. You have to create a vacuum for your thoughts. You have to create an environment, you have to create um, a certain surrounding and a setting where your thoughts are able to rise to the surface. From the unconsciousness where they probably already exist, you have, them, you have to give them the time and the opportunity to really emerge and manifest. So what I mean by that is the following. When I step under the shower, I already trained for about an hour. So that means that for about an hour, I already had no stimulation coming towards me. I usually don't train with friends. I like to be by myself, I like to be by myself because then I can reminisce about things that have been happening throughout the day, um, all the information that I need to process throughout any given day. Um, I can do that while I'm training. I also don't like to listen to music. I try to really be present to the moment and just focus on the task at hand, which in this case means training. So I do that without any distractions. And if you think about it, how rare is it that you actually get the opportunity to um, really have nothing stimulating you? There is really nothing that comes towards you, no media, no information, no boss that wants something from you, no um, job uh, tasks that you need to handle right away, no family. It's really, really rare that this happens. So for me, I noticed that actually the only time that I have that throughout the entire week might be in the gym. Um, so I already have this entire hour where I can calm down, I can take a deep breath, I can reflect on things, I can put things together, I can uh, make sure that I really uh, think deeply about things that have been bothering me for a while or that I have been um, just reflecting on for a while. So that's what I usually do while I'm training and while I focus on the task at hand, which means the, the workout. Then I step under the shower and then it sort of comes to a climax. I think um, changing the environment, stepping under the shower, having the hot water all over your exhausted body can make such a shift in your mind and in your physique that suddenly all these thoughts that you have been thinking about before um, 
kind of click in your reality. Suddenly they all boil together to one main idea, to one main thought and you're like, whoa, this is pretty smart. Where did that come from? While in fact it has been inside of you and within you all along, but it just didn't have the space to really build up and you didn't give it time to build up. So this is what I mean when I say create a vacuum. Every once in a while, especially if you're the creative type, if you need to have creative ideas to be successful at work, but also to be successful maybe as a family man with your friends, if you just want to become more mindful and more reflective on your life, it is hugely important to create this kind of vacuum where you just give yourself time to develop, to reminisce, uh, to reflect on things. Usually we don't give uh, ourselves this time and I mean nowadays it becomes more, uh, more mainstream so to say to be mindful, to be purposeful, uh, to maybe meditate which is a very good start I think but even when meditating uh, you're supposed to not think at all or like reflect on thoughts at all. You're just supposed to let them pass through you. Um, some people say it should be like watching the clouds. You see them pass and you acknowledge them, but you don't dwell on them. So this is something that, uh, you know, is, is a good start, obviously, but it's not the same as working out and consciously, consciously focusing on your thoughts um, and then coming to sort of a conclusion. And for me, that is usually happening while I'm under the shower. So. The one lesson that I want you to take with you from this video is give yourself space. Give yourself the time to just do nothing or do a task um, that might be very routine, very mundane, but that you don't have to think about consciously so you have time to think about other things. It doesn't have to be working out. It can be chopping wood. It can be rowing on a beautiful lake or the ocean just like behind me. It can be, be going for a walk, but make sure that there's no distraction. Don't do it with a friend so you have to chat all the time. Don't do it while listening to music or maybe listening to an audiobook even. Listening to audiobooks is great, but this right here is a tip to reflect on ideas that you subconsciously already have. So in order to make them emerge, to make them um, bubble up to the surface and also to make them click in your reality and really connect them to one bigger idea or even a mindset that could come from it, you need to be able to completely let them run loose. You have to be able to create this kind of vacuum where they can just bounce around and then you can see how you can make them click, how you can make them work together. So for me, this happens under the shower after working out. For you, it might be something completely different. The only important thing is that you let go of all the stimulus that is usually all around us, constantly bombarding us from all sides, constantly wanting something, something from us. Um, you have to make sure that you get rid of that for a while and that you have uh, the kind of vacuum that is needed to let new ideas, new, um, new bright ideas that you might have emerge to the surface. With that, I will leave you. I will go uh, continue the walk that I was on before recording this video. Beautiful weather outside, sunny Sunday here in Stockholm. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to share it with other people. Feel free to comment down below what you think about mindfulness, purposefulness, maybe certain routines that you have yourself. Thanks so much for watching and talk to you next time.